This is Larry Legend of the WKA, and this is your Ringside Roundup. The WKA was on hand as the sanctioning body for Stellar Fights 35, live from Harrington, Delaware, on Saturday, September the 9th. This was an action-packed night of pro and amateur mixed martial arts. In undercard action, we saw Shane Tavess representing Method MMA battle Damir Bradley representing Monster Mode Athletics. This bout did not last long, as early on, Shane Tavest was able to lock on a head and arm triangle choke and earn a submission victory one minute and seven seconds into the first round. In another exciting bout, we saw David Bell representing Bauerhouse MMA battle Andrew Johnson representing Ground Control. Ground Control was truly the name of the game in this fight, as Andrew Johnson was able to best his opposition via rear naked choke submission, 2 minutes and 32 seconds into the first round. And in the main event of the evening for the Stellar Fights Welterweight Championship, it was Brandon Hudson representing SBY Fitness and MMA against Lenny the Gorilla Rafiti representing Method MMA. In the first round of this bout, Brandon was able to land a stellar head kick knocking Lenny off his feet. In round two, Lenny was able to maintain ground dominance on his way to a 34-second KO victory. Your winner, and still Stellar Fights welterweight champion, Lenny the Gorilla Rafiti. The WKA was also the sanctioning body on Saturday, September the 9th for USFC's Battle of the States. Live from the Paxplex Sports Complex in Brooklyn, New York. This was an event where bragging rights were truly on the line, as some of the finest fighters from Atlanta, Georgia traveled to Brooklyn, New York to engage some of New York's finest fighters in caged competition. A huge congratulations goes out to our first victor of the night, making his kickboxing debut, Anthony Ironheart Atterbury. Here we see fighter Kelvin Adams from Georgia receiving instructions from his coach before this battle. Your winner, representing New York, Rashad Clark. Finally, we'll take a look at some of the action out of the main event, featuring Jamonte Brown representing Team Georgia against Macho Lopez representing Team New York. Macho proved victorious in that bout chalking up another win for Team New York. A huge shout-out goes out to Phil Legrand and everyone from Go USFC on a successful event. Fight fans, this concludes this edition of the WKA Ringside Roundup. Make sure to stay connected to the WKA's official website and Facebook for the Gym of the Month and Fighter of the Month coming soon.